Uh, we, we were we were talking the other day about um, t- old TV movies that I remember. Made for TV? Growing up. Made for TV movies. That's a weird thing. That doesn't exist anymore. It just doesn't fucking exist. That the variety t- show. Like, it was a thing where they would take celebrities that had nothing to do with each other, throw them together in song and dance and or comedy skit they numbers. Have, yeah. yeah, shit like that. And you'd be like, why the? Why is Charo with fucking yeah, Ellen yeah, Alda? Yeah. And they're, you know, dancing. Robert Wagner, and they're yeah, all Robert there, and they're like trying something and just like celeb- celebrity, like a, celebrating a, celebrity. A, a hat and cane dance. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then, what was that? Was it filling time? How do they? How did the agent? Now that I know more about right. showbiz, how like, did the eight? I always wondered how does the agent sell this to their client? Because I bet sometimes I'm just trying to think this out in real yeah. time. I bet sometimes someone like Charo or, or fucking or some guy from the A team will be like, he'll see one. I'm like, why wasn't I on that man? Oh well, well, yeah, call his agent. I was like, you yeah, don't get me on the fucking prime show. time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the Hollywood Squares is a big. That thing. was like, uh, who was it? Bob Hope. Uh-huh. We'd be like, hey, uh, we got Brooke Shields and Deacon Jones coming up for you. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Deacon Jones and Brooke Shields. Yeah, they're going to do a song and dance number. Like, oh, okay. I guess I'm never seeing this anywhere else. So, it's so, it, but that's the yeah. version now of like going on Instagram and showing your home or, or saying, like, yeah, hey, guys, yeah. here at the park. But it's Maybe like, but that's it, it. Yeah. At least then they were still giving you some entertainment. They weren't actually showing who they were. Right. Just putting you out. It was, they were still. They were still a character, still but it was more being themselves. Like they weren't an acting role. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, that's really the guy, and he's, you know, doing a goofy comedy sketch with uh, Paul Lind. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and it was all we had growing up. Was those those were on. on. The whole family gathered around and watched it. It was talked about the next day at work and school and shit. Yeah, I was talking to Big J about it. Like, remember TV at like about four a.m. would sign off. Yeah, yeah, we're out. It's done. We're out of stuff. Done. We're out of stuff. So here's a national anthem God, and like uh, six see you at six <laughs> for the farm report. Yeah, they would bah, 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 and then <laughs> just static. And as a kid, you when you woke up, you stayed up for that. You're just like, yeah. I did it. I did it. It's like it's like beating Tetris on the hot nine with a high of nine. <laughs> so, it's like uh, that's so right. Yeah. Oh, WPIX New York now ends its broadcast day. Yeah. It, just it was a little creepy. It was. Like, it was kind of creepy. What world too. are we in now? Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. Two hours, like anything goes. There's you no look crime. Outside, it's like that dark, deep blue color, and you hear the birds chirping. It's the international I did waters. It. Yeah. Fucking the international <laughs> did it. waters. International waters of TV. I outlasted television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they had those celebrities come in, like we gotta fill. Like they yeah. were out. They they could run out. Yeah, yeah. They had to fill just time. Ran out of shit. I, I don't know if it was maybe TBS, the super station that started first with 24 hours. Really? I know Ted Turner and CNN News went 24 hours, but before that, I'm not sure what the first thing was that actually went, yeah, we're, we never go off now. It was so weird because, like, why wouldn't you just put something on more infomercials Anything. at 4.30 or, or, infomercial. or an old old TV, like Before public infomercials. Movie. Like, just put on an old movie. Yeah, you have the rights. Someone's sitting there going, ah, there's nothing. Fine. Different Strokes is always watchable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's no reason not to put yeah. on uh, what you're talking about, Willis. It was <laughs> <laughs> such, a, such a weird thing, yeah. And yeah, now it's everybody's got full. Uh, but the, the uh, oh, the, the TV movie, the made-for-TV movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was, um, they were all very uh, overdramatic, and they dealt with topics that, I don't even think you could fucking put on television anymore. A lot of rape. A lot of rape. On. A lot of rape. A lot of rape. On TV of rape. movies. And they would show, like, as much as they could on television of, of a rape. By the way, just side note real quick. I just got a memory of you being forced to use the word ravage for about four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because you couldn't even reference someone else doing even something. Say. Yeah. The word, right? I remember coming in once <laughs> to the old show, like, I'm like, rabbit. You're like, Ravaged. FCC, man. FCC. Yeah, man. They, they fucking really don't like us talking about that anymore here at the. I just, yeah, I remember thinking, like, if they keep doing this, they're going to. Oh, make, well, they did. New form, was, make some new medium come up. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. there, was, uh, there was the movie we were talking about with Richard Crenna. What is where that? He gets raped by two men. He's a cop. What? Uh, yeah. He's a cop that. Uh, 
handles rapists. Like he was investigating women getting raped, and he was always kind of like, "Ah, uh, she was probably asking for it." And so and, the worst and, cop to put on that. Oh, <laughs> like, God. he goes down that's, into this. That's the basement. reason Me Too happened because cops like that are like, "Ah, you're too hot." <laughs> yeah. yeah, you shouldn't have had that skirt on, Missy. What are you doing? So he goes down into this basement. There's two bad guys there, and they fucking beat him up and ass rape him. No on television, way. Richard Crenna, the fucking they both did took turns on him. I think so. Yeah, <sighs> guy from Rambo, Rambo's fucking. I gotta think that captain. second guy is not oh. as bad as the first. You think the first guy is first bad? Guys, it's like you lose your virginity. Do you remember who you lost your virginity to? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you remember the second person you had sex yeah. with? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Nope. Nope. Me neither. <laughs> than dying. Ain't it? Oh no. Yeah. It's <laughs> badly shot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. He, he gave it a try. He gave it a try. Oh no. That was stupid, big. Now you've got a choice. Or this, or old Sonny. Oh my god. Uh oh. Like Sonny, don't you? Let me hear you say you like Sonny. Don't do this. Oh no. Oh, here he comes. I swear you will. I know Sonny will. You want him, don't you? You yeah. came down here for this, didn't you? He Say should it. use uh, reverse psychology. Yeah, Say Sonny. It. Bring over that fat cock. I heard you got a nice one. He's like, I don't want the guy to like it. I want to gobble on, it. Sonny. Gobble yeah. it with my ass. Oh. Yeah. oh, no. Look at me, pig. <laughs> Tonight's CBS movie, Say sponsored look by... At me, pig. What a weird... And you'd, watch, you'd be watching this with your mom and dad on the couch, and you're like, this is uh, really uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I mean, this never happened. I mean, the idea oh, that you is, could have, like... I don't think there's any instance of this actually happening. It would have to be a completely gay... Oh, oh, oh. God, they the have slow to make unbuckle. Sexy. The slow unbuckle of the yeah. leather jacket. Jesus Christ. Oh, I bet he remembers that buckle. <laughs> What's he doing? Because he'd also be like, what the fuck are you doing? His ass right there? And they cut away. They would never show is it. Is that it? Cut away. Oh. I guess. Cut away, let it be assumed. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's more romantic that way. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine if you're getting, like, robbed? You're like, fuck, this motherfucker. And you know, all of a sudden, they unbuckle, and you're like, wait, wait. Hold yeah, on. wait, what are you? No, I have my wallet. No, guys, you got it. Right. Oh, you want the sock money, too. Okay, yeah, you get the sock money, too. Sock all right, all right, all right. You made your point. You get the sock all money. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's got to be uh, tragic. But uh, th th it didn't end there. There were, there were plenty so of rape. dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 you like Sonny, don't you? He read the script earlier that day for the first <laughs> yeah, time. First time. No run through. Just, yeah, yeah we're going to do this cold. Just, you know, do what you'd do if you were going to be raped by this guy. It's just a rapist uh, gang. Would you moan? And go, yeah, I'd go, uh, uh, no. <laughs> so there's another one. Uh, this one was an Alan Alda. Vic Alan Alda Morrow got raped. Uh, Alan Alda didn't get raped. Oh. Alan Alda was in. The, I think the gist of this one, because I remember this too, was Alan Alda was working as a a doctor in a prison. Okay. And, and his take was like, people can be rehabilitated. We need to help these people. There's no such thing as just somebody who's inherently bad. And then there's just he's around horrible people in prison. And he's good hearted, faced, though. I'm going to save these. Yeah. People. Yeah. It's a trope. He's faced with a situation at some point where he needs to actually have a knife and get in a fight with someone that's trying to kill him. Yeah. So, you know, he, I think he realizes. But then he gets shot at the end. A spoiler. One of the oh, really? guards think he's spoiler. a spoiler. If you're going to watch, if you've been saving this on VHS for all yeah, these yeah, years, for <laughs> he just got fucking <laughs> years. It's a very young Alan Alda. That's a realistic version of it, too. It's like. That they never showed. Was like, no, I gotta fight. It's like you'd lose. That's a you're criminal. That's a losing. criminal, and you're a it's doctor. A convict. Yeah. You're the doctor. Yeah. They're you're fighting losing. every day with fucking yeah. made at home knives. Yeah. You don't know what you're supposed to do in a knife yeah. fight. They know how to fight and whittle. <laughs> yeah. You have no chance. You're done, yeah. Alan Alda. <laughs> you're just recommending what drugs to take <laughs> to lower your cold. Yeah. I think there's a prison riot, prison riot type thing at the end, and uh, Alan Alda runs out of a door to get away from the guy. Yeah. That he was in the fight with, and a guard sees him run out the door and just blasts him with a shotgun. That's Alan Alda? Yeah, yeah. 
Why? Because he thought he was a bad guy. Oh, yeah. There's so, always you know, that yeah, mistake. Yeah, the, yeah, especially back then. It's tragic. It's like, yeah. oh, no. Always. Here he is. Yeah, this guy's one of the guards. And here's uh, Vic Morrow, who died getting his head chopped off making the Twilight Zone movie with a helicopter. Oh, there's, come on, just, dude. All that comes out, he shoots him right in the fucking guts. I mean, it's just lower the... Right? How about freeze or... Yeah. Just know. anyone who opened the door, you know he's in there. Anyone who opens the door is dead. You had so much space the on him. They weren't even coming at you. That's what they did in the 70s. They killed the lead character in every movie. Shoot first and ask questions. Like, yeah, they yeah. did shoot that Everyone at the end of every... We talked about it quite a few times of how depressing 70s movies were because the lead character would always get killed at the end. What was that movie with the, in the bus and he's just bleeding and he's trying to prop him up at the end? Oh, oh, uh... Super classic one. Yeah, g er, not uh, Cowboy. Midnight Cowboy. Midnight Cowboy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Oh, yeah, Easy Rider. They just got Rizzo. blown away Easy at the Rider. end. Easy Rider. For no reason by some truckers who didn't yeah, like yeah. freedom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hippie. He just fucking, they shoot him off the He's like, fuck you. He was like, oh, nah. Bonnie and Clyde, even though it was a... Uh, that was, that was supposed piece, to be. It was supposed to happen, but, you know... You like Warren Beatty during the movie. It's kind of cool. He's a cool like, guy. Aw. And then he just gets riddled with bullets. Uh, I was seven years old and threw up in the car and drive in. My dad took me to see that. You mean it was too much for you? I was seven. Yeah, Bonnie and Clyde. Why did you throw up? Because I was fucking, oh. I got PTSD from that. I'm seven. It's a cool guy that I was I friends with. Mattresses I, made, and he, I, I, I became friends with Clyde Barrow during that yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. He was funny. He was cool. He was like, and he then. Gave money back to the people. Yeah, he was like a good guy. And then. Your the deposit end, first. Blah, 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 he's just riddled with bullets. I was like, oh, bleh. That's not throwing up my Arby's. Wow. All wow. Yeah, in the drive in. My dad was all mad. It's like, you took me to this, you dummy. Yeah, this is not the movie. Yeah. This ain't a movie for a seven year old, you asshole. He wants to connect with his son. <laughs> yeah. He just wanted to connect with his son. Yeah, yeah. Father and son going to a nice film. <laughs> That's the moment where you're like, I'm going to get a gun it's another myself. Another one yeah. with the guy in the, I think it's a Dodge or something. It's a fucking souped up car. And it's another one. You love this guy. He's fucking cool. And then at the end, he just drives into a fucking two bulldozers with a, their blades down oh, car yeah. blows up crazy mary dirty larry they they fucking they're like i think we're gonna make it and they hit a train and fucking blow up that was what you did back then your anti-hero had to die at the end of the movie they were like we will be no sequel yeah yeah no Just sequel and everyone left the theater like oh, oh my god can you believe it's fucking terrible I believe what happened to them did you believe i didn't believe he killed him <laughs> yeah, it was just awful. So on on uh, made for TV movies, it seemed like rape was their their thing. Everyone had to be raped. So here's this movie that we just saw the end to with Alan Alda, but it's around. Do you get the time mark on it? Uh, there's a young guy. Yeah. A young guy got into prison. Don't know what he did. He probably you know shoplifted something. Not a serious crime. And uh, he's a little young and smooth and got some long hair and he's slender and. Uh, I guess someone thought it was time for him to get prison rape. Oh, Jesus. Again, TV movie. Prison seems more realistic. Anybody home? Oh, how you going? Hi. Miss you today. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to Fifth work on my oh. He's awesome. Just done a bunch of oh. blow. Prison blow. Yeah. Well, that's all good and fine, but you're supposed to pick up that envelope from Brown. Oh. Who's this guy? Uh, I, I forgot. Nothing yeah, that's about. what the boy's been saying. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Did you? Um, oh, oh, no. I, I, I'm sorry, you. Well, listen, I'll get off ground. Let's catch my oh, no, no, no. I know I had the sweating. time code on it. Read past it on already. Oh. Hey, hey believe me, you're going oh, sorry. Oh, it's at I, one hour, I, six I, minutes, you 40 seconds. <laughs> one hour, six minutes, 40 seconds. Okay. Oh, look at the yeah, fear. You get yeah. a lot of things hitting on you at once. He's bringing him into the gym. He's like, what, what's up? You think, oh, he's going to rape this guy. It's even worse. Now you don't want you it's dead. worse than rape? <laughs> well, it's worse than this guy dead. raping him. Like, he walks into the weight room. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gang rape. Oh! Oh, this makes me so nauseous. Oh my god! Uh, smile, 
a cut to a smile picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice painting. Yeah, that's a. Oh my God, dude, this is TV. This was TV. That was just television. That was just on for anybody. Wow, that was dark back then. What was that? Seventies or eighties? Uh, I think this is seven. Maybe yeah, seventy-two. Look now, now they show him walking back to his cell. He's doing the old, the old He's shuffle. Walking pretty decent. The old I was fucked in the ass shuffle. Oh, he's not. The, he's not walking that great. Oh boy. Oh hey, new kid. Smack him in the ass as he walks by. Ow. Oh, my oh God. this music is the worst. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, there's a scene later where he's gonna jump and kill himself. Over and that. Alan Alda talks him down and, you know, shit like that. But Alan uh, Alda should be like, hey, dude, yeah, you're never gonna live this down. Yeah, yeah, dude, just, you should jump. You should jump. This will just haunt you. That feeling you have, that's gonna be with you for a while. The psychology is not where it's gonna be. You, you need to go. It's bad <laughs> enough when he's like, oh, this guy's bringing me to the gym to fuck me in the ass, and then it opens up and it's just these fucking bruisers lifting. Oh. Oh my God! Just Dude, I spent a lot of time on. I don't know if I ever told you this on this website called spr.org. Uh huh. Uh, Stopprisonrape.org. Oh my God! And me and my friend David, we just appreciated it for the wrong reasons. Oh no! <laughs> we just like loving it. There were the wrong poems. Uh, uh, just like, and how it's, it's trying to show, like, listen, a lot of times these prison guards use rape as like a way to like, if we're gonna send you to a rape prison where they allow it, if oh, you stay in shit. line. And some rape, there were rape prisons where they're like, it's known, the warden's there, like, let it go. Yeah. But the, the, the worst poem was, I think it was the number seven, and it was the seventh guy to gang rape this guy in a gang rape, and that's when he started falling in love. Holy shit, come on. Mm -hmm. All these like tales of people like getting out and then t like confiding in their wife what happened, and their wife's immediately like, oh, you're a punk? I can't be with a punk. Oh, shit. It's dark. How would we you were confide? I, why would you ever? You should just fucking, I don't know. Yeah. You should, if you can, if you can shove that down far enough. That's, a, that's, that's a good one to shove down. With a bunch of, yeah. <laughs> if there's ever anything you should just shove down and yeah. not even acknowledge happened. <laughs> that's the thing. Don't share it with a shrink, your wife, your friend, no one. <laughs> that should be yeah. it. Oh, it was just all over and pictures and like, po oh my God. We oh, were that. laughing so hard. But then when you really, <laughs> but then when you really let it in, so you face it, you're like, this is uncomfortable. Oh. It really is what keeps people in line. Like, it's not so much your your lack of freedom. There are people living horrible lives on the outside, free, that could have a room and board and a purpose, a job, education. You get all kinds of shit in prison. But there's the fucking ass fucking. No one wants that. <laughs> no one wants it. <laughs> so no it's like, it. that's what keeps people in line. Yeah. I might try a bank robbery if it wasn't for the ass yeah, sex ass in fucking. prison. It's like, well, what if you go to prison for a while? I was like, that would be bad. But I, yeah. it's worth it for the money. I could try a bank robbery. Yeah. I won't hurt anyone. I'll try to get away with the money with it. I'll give it my best shot. And then if I get caught, oh, oh ass sex. The ass sex. All right. Okay, How okay, about okay. I won't hold try on, to rob on. a bank? Do. How much is it? No, $10 million is not enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Enough. enough. I need about a yeah, billion. Yeah. I need to be able to get a billion to risk that. I need like an Ocean's Eleven kind of heist, mm -hmm. guaranteed, before I'd even be like <laughs> risking that kind of consequence. Or like, you got to give me a razor on the way. Like if I get caught. <laughs> right, right. It's just, oh. you got to be done. Yeah. You got to be done with oh. it. I like that story everyone tells about, uh, well, you got to go up to the biggest guy in prison, punch him in the face and go, oh, so you're getting raped the first night you go in. Yeah. That's what's going to How about when that punch goes and he just catches it? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what are you and doing? You go, now it's my turn. He just punches you right in your asshole. Mm -hmm. Go up to the biggest, <laughs> baddest motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Right in the face. That's what, that's, that's what happens? Yeah. Sure. And then what if it's not a rape prison? And so you just put, and everyone's like, what an asshole that like, guy what is. If, what did you New do that for? guy just punched Jimmy for no reason. By the way, dude, yeah, he's big. He's one of the nicest guys in here. Oh, my here. God. Yeah, the Green Mile, that guy was a God. fucking saint. <laughs> <laughs> you just punched the Green Mile, dude? Why'd you punch me, ball? <laughs> he's crying. Like, I don't He just starts crying. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I was going to give you my cookie, new guy. <laughs> I was going to share some of his cornbread, his wife's cornbread <laughs> with you. We was going to watch a flicker show together, and he punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> For no like, oh, reason. Shit, I'm sorry, dude. I literally did nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> one of the nicest guys. He helps everyone out. Made you, you a lanyard. Him punch him in the face. What's wrong with you, you <laughs> asshole? This is why prisons get a bad rap. Yeah, yeah. Jerks like you. Oh my god. <laughs> I just saw for the first time in a long speaking of rape. Saturday Night Fever. Oh yeah! Wow! Oh, <laughs> I, I saw that with it's movie. I saw that in the movie theater with my mom and Whoa. my grandmother. Whoa! I'm uncomfortable. There, my mom and my grandmother, and I'm like, "Holy fuck, is this uncomfortable?" Oh, Annette, cigarette. And then there's that gang rape in the back of the car, yeah. and then immediately the chick who got gang rape is like. Oh, but Johnny killed himself and hugging the, the gang rapist. Yeah, the gang rape guy. Can you believe it? It's like, ah, a little gang rape, but we're a crew. A little PTSD <laughs> from that night, Whoa. I think, for her. Yeah. And after Travolta gets punched away from making a rape himself. He yes. almost raped that chick. She, she was ready to rape the fucking dance girl. Even a lot of rape going on. A lot in of Brooklyn rape for a movie for, about dance. <laughs> about a da It's a dance movie. Yeah. <laughs> and it's full of rape. When he just turns to her and he goes, now you're a cunt. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. She, it's wow. like, look, she was gang raped. I think she feels bad enough. Oh, my God. You don't have to call her a cunt, Tony. <laughs> Jeez. You didn't call me. <laughs> Tony, you didn't call me. <laughs> oh, what a sad fucking movie. I didn't know how dark it was. You just All you'd see is that picture of Travolta doing Yeah, this, yeah. Like, oh, it's goofy. Oh, okay. Look, he's fucking tearing up the down. dance floor. This pick should have won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were better. Yeah, now you. Yeah, look at him greasing up the floor. <laughs> That's right. The only thing that really, really bothered me for that, the rest was like realistic to the time. But he gets mad that he goes, it's unfair that these guys. Were, he understands they were better dancers than him. Yeah. And he goes, it's kind of unfair that because of their race, they couldn't win. Yeah. And he goes, because he cared about dance more than anything. Right. You no, know, it wasn't like he wasn't racist, but he just, no, like, no, like, but, but it's like the dance. And they, they, won. they fucking crushed. Right. Those guys are great. And he comes over and he gives them the first place prize. Yeah. Because he's like, you deserve it. But he should have taken back the second place prize. I would have taken, right, the yeah. second yeah. place prize. Trade and that money. Yeah. yeah. Why did they get and both? Like, yeah, I came in second. Uh, it didn't sit right with me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I felt a little weird about that, too. Yeah. That was the most unrealistic part. <laughs> yeah. The most realistic part where they're uh, going through that basketball court and taunting the gay people. <laughs> oh, my God. What a different time. Oh, what a different and that time. wasn't even a thing where you'd look and go, oh, these scumbags hassling. Like, people that went and saw that movie when it first came out went, yeah, look at him. Yeah, I'd do that, too. <laughs> Someone's talking about the birdcage. Uh, the Robin Williams, uh -huh. whatever, and and that's so dated now because they were like, "I'm gay." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the not a realistic gay. Flamboyant, <laughs> fucking yeah. Kaja Faux gay. All mad at you for just for being gay. Yeah. Like, why can't you yeah. be normal, Dad? All over the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the isn't that odd? Gay stereotypes in movies seem to be the ones that were the most oh. like offensive to gay people. Uh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's all. Now that you know, that's like. 10% of gays. Yeah, yeah. You know? The flamboyant yeah. fucking woo! Tim Dillon's a way more realistic gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, even Mateo's not that gay. Not that gay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh... You know, like, yeah, and that was the standard gay. Standard gay. You wouldn't even have a gay character. I don't think people would have understood the character was gay. Mm -hmm. Like, that would have been the problem back then. It's like, oh, did you hear that character's gay? It's like, what? No, it was not. Wasn't it? We thought we didn't think Elton John was gay for a time. Liberace was just Liberace buoyant. was fucking uh, Freddie Mercury. Fucking uh, what's his name from? God yeah, Freddie damn. Mercury got eight, like from a transfusion. Like yeah, it was a transfusion. Sit down for this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was a homophiliac. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, let's go dance.